Uh, hi, uh, welcome students. Uh, hope you all are fine. Uh, uh, today I am going to start uh, the new lecture series uh, on the chorus uh, topology second with the chorus code MTH802. In this uh, lecture we are going to discuss separation action. So first of all uh, I want to define uh, the continuous mapping is between the topological space. What do we mean by a continuous mapping between and the two topological space. So let's define continuous mapping. Let uh, uh, let uh, let x and y, uh, or you can say, let f be a mapping. Let f be a mapping between the two topological spaces x and y between two topological spaces. Topological spaces X and Y. Then if it's continuous, uh, then F is F is continuous if for any open set V in Y F inverse of V is an open set in X. So in other words we can say inverse image of open set is again an open set. In other words in other words inverse image of inverse image of an open set of an open set is again an open set is again an open set inverse image of an open set is again an open set that's the definition of continuous mapping between the topological spaces. So, uh, it's the definition of continuous mapping between the topological space X and Y. So, it, uh, uh, now I suppose uh, 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 <coughs> this uh, if X, it means that if X has more open sets, then the probability for the function F to be continuous is more. So, F is a function from X, <coughs> X to Y. <coughs> between the topological spaces X and Y then uh, if the number of open sets in X is more so if we have more open sets here in X in domain then the probability for the function F to be continuous will be more because we need to check the inverse image of open set must be open in X so in particular if our X is discrete topological space discrete topological space means whose every subset is open so in discrete topological space, the topology is <coughs> the power set of X. So that means if our X is discrete topological space, then every such map is continuous. Every such map is continuous. Okay. Now uh, uh, you all are uh, familiar about uh, uh, the fact that in metric space, any two distinct points can be separated by disjoint open sets. In matrix space uh, X uh, D, uh, you all are familiar with this fact. If X D is a matrix space, then any two points, any two distinct points of this matrix space X and Y, since the points are distinct, therefore distance uh, between these two points must be some positive number R. So, now uh, let's take this sphere with center at x and radius R by 2, this sphere. And let's take another sphere, center at y and radius R by 2, that one. Now you can easily verify that these two spheres, one with center at x, radius R by 2, and second with center at y, radius R by 2, they are disjoint. So these two spheres, they are 
disjoint this uh, intersection is a fis is the fis set that is joint so therefore for any two distinct points x and y i can find two disjoint open sets uh, say sr by 2x and sr by 2y such that this open sphere it contains a point x and second open sphere it contains a point y so it's uh, it's true for every metric space this property is possessed by every metric space but in general this property does not hold in topological spaces so based on these properties uh, whether the points are separated or not we have uh, we have characterized uh, the different classes of uh, topological spaces we have different class of topological space so let's define the first class of topological space that we call the t1 space t1 space uh, what's t1 space uh, it's a topological space uh, t1 space it's a topological space uh, uh, so a topological space x tau is said to be t1 space a topological space x with topology tau a topological space x tau is said to be a t1 space is said to be is said to be a t1 space a t1 space is said to be a t1 space is said to be a t1 space if if for any two points x comma y in x with x not equal to y with x not equal to y if for any two points x and y with x not equal to y there exist there exist open sets open sets u and v in x such that they contain these two points but does not contain other points such that x is in u but y is not in u and but y is not in u sorry it is in u y is not in u it's u here and y belongs to v but x is not in v but x is not in v a topological space possesses this property is called a t1 space is called a t1 space now uh, uh, we have some examples of t1 space the first example is uh, the metric space uh, or uh, uh let's uh, uh let's give some other example other than matrix space uh, so let's uh, have the following example uh. so let uh, let x uh, be a four point set let x b is equal to a b c and d Uh, let's define tau it's a topology on x it uh, should contain first these two members f and x and let's uh, take the other members say it's a it is c it's d then uh, their unions should be there their unions should be there say ac ad C D and union of all the threes that's A, C, and D. And uh, let's take one more point that's B. Then uh, then B D should be there. B C should be there. And let's take uh, say B C B D. And let's take A B also. 
and then I have to take uh, these ACD, ABD, all these sets so that uh, it will become topology on X. So this uh, uh, B, uh, B, C, D should be there. B, A, B, A, C should be there. B, A, D should be there. B, C, D should be there. Say so that's this uh, B, A, C, B, C, A, D, and B, C, D. So let's take this one. Uh, it's the topology on X. Uh, can easily verify it uh, and you can see that uh, for any two distinct points uh, any two distinct points can be separated uh, for these two distinct points I can find two open sets so that they contain these two points but does not contain the other point uh, so uh, so suppose uh, for this A and C for A and C we have these two open sets uh, this contains a point A but does not contain the point C and this one it contains a point C but does not contain the point A and similarly for the AD, for uh, AB, you can see, take these two, for uh, CD, you take these two, for uh, any two, any two points, uh, you can always, uh, you always have such open sets. So that means, therefore, therefore, X with this topology is, is T1 space. So in fact, it's actually discrete top, uh, discrete uh, topological space, and you can see uh, we can easily verify that we can easily verify that every discrete topological space is. T1 space. Every discrete topological space is T1 space. So next uh, example is uh, uh, take a matrix space. Uh, matrix space possesses this property. Uh, uh, every matrix space every matrix space is T1 space is T1 space every matrix space is T1 space every matrix space is T1 space uh, you can easily uh, verify this uh, this it is a uh, T1 space uh, so let uh, as already ex explained in previous page, uh, in page number one, on page number one, uh, let X D be a matrix space, and X comma Y belongs to X, with X not equal to Y. Then distance between x comma y is r which is positive number and uh, you can verify this s r by 2 x intersection s r by 2 y is equal to phi set so you can verify it here find x that's a find y so there is some distance r positive and you can choose that open sphere center at y and you can choose here this open sphere with center at y, uh, y this one with center at x and this with center at y uh, this one it is open sphere s r by 2 x and this one it is open sphere s r by 2 y and it contains a point y and this one it contains a point x so it uh, and this uh, open sphere it does not contain the point y and this open sphere it does not contain the point x so therefore it's a T1 space. So therefore every matrix space is T1 space. Next uh, we define Hausdorff space. Or you can say T2 space. T2 space. A topological space X tau. A topological space X tau 
is t two space is t two space is t two space uh, if uh, if uh, for any two distinct points if for any two distinct points x comma y in x there exist disjoint open sets there exist disjoint open sets u and v such that uh, there is disjoint open sets u and v such that uh, such that x belongs to u and y belongs to v y belongs to v So it's called T two space. It's called T two space. So you can now easily verify that every T two space is T one space <clears throat> because for T one space you need two open sets U and V such so that U contains the point X and V contains the point Y and uh, this one U it will uh, it should not contain the point Y and this one it should not contain the point X and that property is here as these two open sets are disjoint therefore. If x u contains the point x, then it it cannot contain the point y, because u and y v they are disjoint, and if it contains the point y, then it will not contain the point x as uh, they are disjoint sets. So therefore, we have a remark here. Every t two space. T two spaces, T one space. Every T two spaces T one space. And uh, 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 we have a note here. This T two space is also called a Hausdorff space. T two space is also called Hausdorff space. Now this uh, uh, matrix space is Hausdorff space. You can easily verify it uh, because uh, let's uh, let's take a matrix of x t and let's take any two points x and y in x with x not equal to y. Then uh, distance between x and y it's uh, some positive number say r. And and now you can see you can easily verify these these two open sets because every open sphere is an open set in any matrix space. So these are the open spheres. S R by two X and S R by two Y. They are open sets and they are also disjoint. And they possess a property that this first open sphere S R by two X it contains the point X and the second uh, open sphere it contains the point Y. So that, in other words, for any two distinct points, we have two disjoint open sets. So they, they these two open sets they contain these two points respectively. So it means that every matrix space is T two space, or every matrix space is Hausdorff space. Uh, there are other examples, uh, as uh, you can say, every discrete uh, topological space uh, with at least two points in in, in the set. Uh, say X is equal to A B. So then every discrete topological space on that set is T two space. So, but uh, uh, the uh, converse, uh, this uh, as uh, I have already uh, written here in the remark that every T two space is T one space, but converse is not true. So that's an exercise for you. Uh, the uh, T one space, uh, T two T one space need not be T two space. Okay.